Disclaimer, this video may contain content that might not be suitable for children. Parental guidance is advised. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to this guy of five. This is Yang Kyo. And uh, pre in the previous episode, we uh, cleared the Disguise 2 scenario. Which led us the Adele, Rosalind, and Axel. Where would you like to go, dude? Now we're gonna go into the next uh, DLC, uh, DLC uh, uh, scenarios, the Makai Kingdom. Is it the Makai Kingdom? I'm pretty sure it's the Makai Kingdom. Prem, the Oracle. Prophecies have never gone wrong. It's Makai Kingdom. The prophecies of the destruction of Zeta's netherworld proves it. Prem has made a new prophecy. Uh huh. What will be the fate of netherworlds? If you actually play through the Makai Kingdom, uh, even just like uh, halfway through the game, you actually know that Pram is a hack. Pram, I heard you made a new prophecy. Dad! It's very important for you, right? <laughs> Are you interested? Is this fine? What's going to happen to me? Stop holding back, please. Tell me. My, you're so aggressive. Fine, I'll tell you. But it's not about you. What I saw, my prophecy, is about Zeta. Huh? It's about my father? Zeta! Yes, my prophecy states... Zeta must not come across him, or if they meet, misery will before Zeta. Why? What? No. As for, uh, by the way, uh, as for the reason why Prem is considered a hack, uh, play through Makai Kingdom. I might actually play through that, that game. Uh, I think I'll play the disc guy, uh, the, the PSP version. Uh, I'm gonna actually have to emulate that because, uh, uh, I have no idea how to actually patch games directly into a PSP. But then again, PSP has gone out of order for a long time, so I know some people don't like emulators, but uh, it can't be helped in this case because PSP has is now no longer being uh, made or sold, and I'm definitely not gonna buy a used one because that's kind of stupid. No offense to people who buy used stuff; it's just that uh, there is unless you actually really want it, uh, there's no no point in buying uh, used consoles that are no longer in production. Cause it's not going to support anyone but the person who's selling it to you. But that's my opinion, you guys have your own opinions. Anyway, but your prophecies are 100% accurate, you're never wrong. <laughs> that's right, my prophecies are never wrong. Prem, who is this man that is mentioning your prophecy? The one who Zeta should not meet is a demon named Kilia. Kilia? A demon who's wandering around this neighborhood. He's weird, but really strong. If Zeta encounters him... Oh no! We have to hurry up and do something! And off she goes. <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm actually... Uh, 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 I'm planning... Uh, uh, if I were to do play Makai Kingdom, uh, and uh, and it's the... Uh, I'm doing... I'll, the, the reason why the, uh, if I ever do My High Kingdom, uh, I would be using the PSP version is because it's the updated one and he has more extra content. So I would actually play through that. Especially because Peta came from that version. By the way, this girl is Pat, called Peta. I'm sorry for jumping up ahead. Excuse me, are you Kilia? By the way, the updated version has never been released out of Japan because Sony uh, has, uh, uh, has made it clear for the localizations they no longer have 2D, uh, do have, uh, 2D sprite games for whatever reason for, uh, the, uh, for the PSP. Then again, the PSP was dying out at that time, so uh, that's probably the main reason. I don't know, there's so many reasons during that time. Yeah, what do you want from me? I'm Overlord Zeta's daughter, Peta. Overlord, uh, Overlord Zeta has daughter? I'm sorry for the short notice, but I need you to vanish. What are you talking about? Here I go! My father could be on his way here as we speak. There is no time to spare. 
I will eliminate any obstacles in my father's way. But I'm not sure if I will ever do Makai Kingdom. I mean, that game is actually a little, little difficult, considering that I'm more focused on this guy, uh, on the disguise series. Anyway, this is Peta. Her evil is Peta's daughter, which increases the attack of EG AJ, adjacent ally overlord units by thirty percent. Luckily, she doesn't have anyone uh, around, and then uh. Uh, sh her overload is future ire which allows all allies on the map to use their overload skill one more time what that means is if uh, if uh, a unit were to actually use oh uh, were to use her uh, their uh, overloads they can use it one more time even if they haven't used it it actually uh, becomes a stock which allows the unit to uh, uh, use an over uh, their overload twice. That's right, this makes her very, very broken. Let me thank you. Since, uh, since that means uh, Serafina will be able to use her Ballad Gaze uh, twice. Rick Magnus will be able to use his Super Olympia twice, Kristoff, uh, etc. etc. Everyone will be able to use their overload twice. That means Adele, who has, uh, who, whose uh, overload allows him to increase his attack by 200% and move. Uh, uh, and his movement becomes 32 for one turn. It becomes two turns because he can actually do it again, which is very, very useful. So we're getting her now. Oh, by the way, uh, the bonus list for the DLC scenarios, uh, they increase as the story goes on. Uh, I think there is a cap, I think up to 32. Uh, yeah, there is a number for a, a, a level for the bonus gauge. Uh, 32 might be the highest. I can't remember, but uh, that means you can get better stuff. Uh, that means uh, it will it will level up along with the map. So it, uh, it so uh, it's a good place to actually grind if you manage to clear it. He's he's strong, just like Pram said. You said I was an obstacle in your father's way. What do you mean? Tell me what's going on. You know, you could just ask him to leave, right? I thought you were rough. You're actually quite a gentleman. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm out of time. Hello, hello. I have to come up with another plan. Please excuse me. <laughs> What's that all about? See this. Next, set us turn. <laughs> God, Pram. Let's fix you up. Prem is a very is a bitch, but uh, she's a likable bitch. Kind of like Mat uh, Matalia. She's a like uh, Matalia and Prem are uh, are actually uh, jerks, complete jerks. But they are likable jerks because they actually have some good in them. Unlike Margarita. God, Margarita is a complete bitch. And you play through the entire game, you'll learn that she is a super, super mega bitch. She makes Prem look like an angel. Uh, I, 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 I just realized what I actually said. I'm calling a demon an angel. Prem, I heard you made a new prophecy. What is it about? Man, I miss, uh, uh, I miss Chris and Freeman voicing Zeta. But hey, the new, his new voice actor, I think it's Steve Bloom. Uh, I can't remember who it is. Maybe it's Patrick Sids. Sids. I, I, sorry, dude. I, I I messed up your name. But uh, uh, they do a good job. It's just that I like uh, Christmas Freeman's laughter for Zeta. That's the that's the major thing that uh, that uh, that I missed. My prophecy is about you, Zeta. You absolutely cannot meet a guy named Kilia. If you do, you're going to be miserable. How harmless. So, who is this Killian? A demon who's wandering around here. He's a quiet guy, but he's very strong. I have to be, I have to be careful about that prophecy. <laughs> what unexpected words from you, the badass overlord. I thought you were going to laugh this prophecy off. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much trouble I've been, put, uh, I've been through because of your prophecies? 
I'm not scared of this worthless demon killer at all. I'm worried about your prophecy. Well, hey, who says that, who says people can't learn? That's great. If you have power, you shouldn't be scared of Kilia. Weaklings. <laughs> exactly. I can take down Kilia with one move. He's not exaggerating. <laughs> then I'm really. Hey Zeta, why don't you go defeat Kilia before something bad happens? You're right. It's not like me to wait for something to happen. Fool. I should go pick the stem of disaster before it sprouts into a weed myself. Father, where are you going? Oh, Peta, I'm gonna go defeat some guy named Killia. What? Killia? Huh. It's not like me to wait for something to happen. I'm gonna go crush the root of the prophecy. Father, please wait. What is it, Peta? I'm busy. I just spotted him over there. If you're going, then you should go that way. <laughs> well, uh, whoever the replacement voice actor is, at least they do a good job of imitating it. That is how Zeta originally laughs, and even in the Japanese version. So, uh, uh, they're actually doing a good job. It's just that Christmas Freeman is the first uh, first one to actually dub, uh, do the voice English voiceover for it. So, uh, he has a laugh, the last one. Back. Actually, I like Christmas uh, Christmas Freeman's evil laughter. It's always uh, it's always so. I don't know. Yes, this this thing about it. Hold on, Killian. Your fate ends here, and then he laughs. Yeah, I don't know why Christmas e Freeman's evil laughter is always, uh, it always uh, like fills me with joy. I don't know why. <laughs> now, what's gonna happen next? Okay, in case you, by the way, in case you didn't notice, Zeta is an idiot. I'm sorry, father. I'm doing this for you. Thank God his daughter is smarter than him. I've been looking for you, Pata. Can you tell me more about what you said earlier? I might be able to help. You're such a nice person. Please get a hold of yourself, Peta. Two Petas! You're me? Hello, hello! Yes, hello. I'm you from the different future. Uh in case uh okay, um I don't know how to actually say this because it's kind of like a super spoiler. Why did you come from the future? But um, uh, Peta is from the future, even in Makai Kingdom. She is a time traveler. Change the past and my future. The netherworld I was in, Killian met father, and like the prophecy, a prophecy said, it was a disaster. I knew it, so there will be a disaster. That's right, I cannot let something like that happen. You have to keep those two from meeting. I'm sorry. This is where we say goodbye. This is for our netherworld and for our father. I won't go easy. Please sacrifice yourself for the future. What is going on here? Anyway, enough of voice actor politics and whatnot. Now we have four patterns to deal with. Just in case it wasn't obvious, uh, Pet, uh, if you actually look at Peta's stats, she's more of a magic user. And she has Star. Thankfully, Star is not elemental, so you actually bring out any units that's uh, strong against Star, like uh, Sisley or uh, Natalia. So we're just gonna. I think she's just weak to win, so I'm just gonna use win instead. To protect game industry. So it's this is turn. actually pretty easy. Uh, just kill, uh, just beat Peta, which is a uh, pretty straightforward uh, battle. So. That's about it. Uh, there's not much to say. I mean, there's no gimmicks or anything. It's just four characters in one, one, uh, in one. 
fact, I don't actually have to uh, bring out this many characters. I'm just. You shit. So, shit. instead yeah. of just, you know, talking about how to go through this, I mean, this is actually pretty straightforward, so. Uh, let's talk about something else. Like the spoiler of Mark High Kingdom. <laughs> So, uh, the PSP version of Mark High Kingdom introduced PETA, which is where, uh, and the entire scenario of it is that, uh, PETA is Zeta's daughter from the future. And, uh, it's actually in an alternate scenario. And, uh, I'm not sure if they actually made that canon or, or not, but, uh, if they did, then well, good for them. But basically, uh, in that scenario, Zeta. Okay, this is this one is not really a spoiler because it's, uh, it's a, an intro. Uh, Zeta actually went into a long slumber, which then caused like a, a lot more problems. Instead of like uh, the main scenario where Zeta just continued on, uh, despite what happened, Zeta turned into a book in that game. Uh, so instead of going into a long slumber, he just continued like as if nothing happened. But in the uh, in the alternate scenario, Zeta uh, went to a long slumber, which caused his daughter to actually have to do something, or else Zeta will die. I think that's how the story goes. I've never actually uh, went go through the whole, whole entire thing because uh, I've never read the translation, so uh, I could get uh, I could have gotten some things wrong. But Peta is actually a good daughter for Zeta. Of, uh, of Zeta. <laughs> I failed again. Is this okay? I can't give up just yet. Even before Pata. He gang up on him, but we still couldn't defeat him. It's the misery that the prophecy speaks of about my father losing? Excuse me? I pretty sure your father would be delighted if he lost. I mean, if he lost badly, then he won't. But if he actually lost to a strong opponent, I don't think he will actually be, you know, miserable. I have to stop this prophecy from coming true. Because he's a demon. He loves fighting. Prophecy. Is that the key to solving this? I mean, this guy of four, uh, spoiler for this guy of four, he up. made a cameo in this guy of four, and he lost his uh, Volvo like Taurus, go, and he was delighted at that because he actually gains uh, a rival out of that. So if he gains another rival, he's gonna be happy about that. So it's not mis it's not misery for uh, Zeta. <laughs> I found I finally found you, Killia. I'm busy. What do you want with me? Hm. I hope you don't regret talking to me. The badass freaking overlord, Zeta. Like that. Your overlord, Zeta? Hmm. Now, do you understand the situation you're in? <laughs> but it's too late. I'll show you. No, father. Wait. You can't interact with Kilia. Peta, go away! By the way, uh, Zeta is uh, a complete daughter con, so he dotes on her very, very much, and actually spoils her. But he acts like he he isn't, and Peta is completely clueless about that. No, we will protect you, father. Four Petas? What's going on here? <laughs> Look at Zeta fluster. Prayer. Is this the misery that prophecy foretold? Hmm, maybe. The prophecy only said misery. I fail. At this rate, father will be miserable. Hello, hello! So we just add two more. It's too soon to give up. I won't go easy! She's right. We have to erase Kilia before the prophecy becomes reality. Here I go! Everyone, thank you very much. This is for father. I won't give up. And now we're gonna have to fight six Padas, Zeta, and Pram. Whew. Okay, Pram. Uh, Pram's overload is uh, allows her to evade all attacks for two turns, which is actually pretty useful. 
not even Crystal's uh, Overlord would actually uh, overcome this, so don't bother. And then her uh, evil T is Punishing Prophecy, which at the end of the turn, she will damage a random enemy. That means she could just uh, pop up, stay in the corner, and after the end of every turn, she will damage an enemy. I'm not sure if it will actually cause her to level up, but uh, uh, maybe we'll find out eventually. Uh, Zeta is overload, it allows him to summon build a building and increase the dash, uh, this special limit by 5, but we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, his overload is actually pretty useless as, a, as an enemy because he doesn't, uh, he can't dispatch anything. And then, uh, and then his evil T is bad as overlord. Uh, every time, he's, uh, every time he reincarnates, cause the, uh, maximum level for, uh, this guy is 9,999. So every time he gains 10,000 levels, uh, he gains... In uh, he gains an additional one percent to his ten percent increase in attack. Uh, so that means if you keep uh, in uh, reincarnating him a hundred times, you're gonna have to get him to level one thousand one hundred times, and then you will have uh, a grand total of one hundred and ten percent in attack increase. But we don't have to worry about that right now. Instead, what we should be worried is defeating Pada. And she's a lot stronger than before. So we're gonna actually have All to men are my servants. do this right. Okay, uh, Red Misa. Is the sign of justice. And, uh, I'll okay. destroy all of you. you want to have uh, as many uh, units me. out as possible because, uh, Prem will actually attack a random unit, so having just one out would actually be bad. No, uh, unless, of course, you're super uh, overpowered. Also, uh, I guess I should showcase uh, Adele, Rosalind, and uh, Axel. Let me thank you. Well, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that uh, later or something. I don't know. Not bad. Uh, we might want to actually stall, uh, stall a bit and wait for uh, Zeta to go out of revenge mode because revenge mode, as you remember, it increases. Oh, huh? It increases uh, a unit stat. Oh, that's no good. Oh, we're in a dangerous spot. Okay. Only person who will be affected by uh, by Baylor's gate would be Zeta, but she is a boss type character, so uh, so he cannot be charmed. So instead, we're just gonna uh, kill everything. Okay, we're just... Oh, I forgot. Actually, you guys never actually saw this. Yeah, I actually forgot the rule. Ah! Sometimes I'll, I'll accidentally skip it. Uh, so, uh, apologies for that. Survive! Survive! No! No! He's not gonna survive! He's dead! Laurel! Oh, he survived! Okay! Let's kill them! Use Overload. Just use it. Yeah, use Atrocious Prince. Me. Oh yes, that's a good amount of damage. Uh, okay, I should bring out Flan and Sicily. Actually, no. Uh, hold on. Move here and here. Have uh, Flan heal the Harl and. Uh, have Sicily heal Seraphina. Are you okay? Yeah, let's heal them. Ha, I'm so happy this. this is a little straightforward, but uh, I do need a bit of concentration because holy crud, they actually managed to kill Kilia, even though this. Okay, uh, actually, I should use excavation. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, tribers. Why? Okay. Here I come. Why? Awesome. Uh oh shoot. Hmm. I would like to use the uh, girl the halls overload, but I can't. Ah well. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. Well, it could be worse. It really could be worse. Uh, actually, no. We'll just move here instead. And we'll use Phantom Blow. Actually, I shouldn't stand in line. Move away. Thank you. Okay, I can't use Mega Heal, so I'll just use uh, regular heal. Can't use Mega Heal either. Regular heal. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Okay, Pedder is dead. Now we have one last problem to deal with. Okay, all that's left is deal with Pram and Zeta. Shouldn't be much of a problem because we can actually. Oh no! Don't die! Oh no! New Zeta Beam! Oh, Zeta Beam! Zeta Beam! Oh my gosh! Oh, darn! Oh! Oh my goodness! Holy! <laughs> oh man! Zeta! Why, dude? And I can't use this because she's actually rigging immune to ice! She's 99% resistance to ice! Okay, we're gonna actually have to use uh, Matalia. Because she'd be more useful in battle. Holy oh, crap, we're not actually going. Uh, this is not going well. Me. <laughs> okay, end turn for now. Holy hell, holy hell, a baby, hello, pa. Okay, fire, mega ice. Why aren't you working? Oh no, this is all sort of wrong. Okay, um. We can have one more person out, so I'm gonna bring out uh, Medea. Just use fire on Zeta and hope for the best. You look shit. Worship me. I will lose. Uh, please work. Worship me. Okay, he's doing damage. Oh no! Worship me. I think we're screwed. Well, so long as we stay away from Pram for the moment, we should be fine. Oh, we're screwed. Well, let's go out with a bang. Worship me. And game over. Let's retry that battle again. Okay, the biggest problem here is Pram. So I shouldn't take out Adele just yet. Actually, I shouldn't take out uh, Kilia either. Instead, we should take out... Okay, it's hard to move we're take out... This body. Girl... Lo Actually, no. Uh, Lahar. And then use Excavation. Leave it to me. Uh, take out it's Serafina. And for here... Use this. Okay, hold on. And then take out Nisa. The and then do the same. Attack. I'll destroy all of you. It's fine if you actually miss. My our entire point is to actually do more damage to. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that didn't kill them all in one shot. Okay, that, that is a problem. We're gonna have to retry that again. The goal here is to actually uh, kill uh, kill Peta, the first three Panas, in, uh, in one shot. So if that doesn't work, we're gonna actually have to think of something else. Huh, okay, I'm, I'm just... Give me a minute. Give me a minute, folks. Wait, can she? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's hard to move in this body. Oh no, girl of Hall can't move that far. Oh wait. Bye. Duh. It's hard to move in this body. Okay. Left. Control. Yeah. Move her here. Move here. And Phantom Blow. Okay. We won't use Phantom Blow just yet. We we'll use Shotgun Craft. Shotgun Craft. Uh excavation. And then Phantom Blow. The reason why we actually want to use shotgun gra crap is because it will lower the speed of the Padas. Which would be which will increase the uh, hit. And as you can see, that did the trick. Okay, that's one pattern down. Please kill that Pada. <laughs> okay, that actually. Whoa, no. Well, whatever. Okay, overload. Better be of use to me. Yeah, dude. Okay, this overload cut. Uh, Anna's overload. Uh, summons preenies, and the preenies will actually. Uh, help Etna gain uh, damage. They're actually the same level as Etna. But uh, they're uh, at the same time, they actually can also uh, help uh, and they actually uh, link the experience gain to Etna. So if a pretty were to kill a character, uh, Etna will gain a level. So, that, so that's actually pretty useful. Though they are pretty, so... Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh, that was very useful! Oh, Zerubi again! Oh! Survive! Survive, Nisa! Oh, okay, Nisa survived. Okay, let's, let's move her here for a bit. Uh, and take out Flan. And Sicily. And let's heal. Lisa. Let's do this. Okay, you guys already yeah, seen, seen this. So. Okay. Uh, we cannot really hurt Zeta at the moment, so instead we're gonna just attack. Uh, oops, attack Peta. Uh, okay, we we want to actually stand in quite a bit of distance because uh, new Zeta beam. Will hit regardless. Well, that's if he actually stands far away enough. So he doesn't do that. Let's use. Okay, we can't use Green Ray. So instead, we'll just leave it this. Okay, that didn't kill him. Huh. Edna, oh, there it is. Demon's Lord's Vassal. Okay, that's why. Edna gains EXP, mana, and crash proficiency equal to the amount earned by unit. Which is very <laughs> useful. You cannot get this, by the way. Unfortunately, you cannot get that. You cannot buy that in Bolton. Explode when thrown. Uh, equal to 50%. That will just do 35 damage, which is not very, uh, very high. So yeah, dude. Then let's just head. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, Edna is still alive. Let's move down here for a bit and heal. 
Uh, Nisa. Okay, now that Zeta is not in uh, revenge mode, we should be able to hit, hurt him. Hopefully. Also, we can actually bring out other units now, like let's Chilia. This quick. Uh, <laughs> let's bring out Metalia because magic users are very, very broken. Uh, do I want to bring out? Yeah, let's bring out Medea. Okay. Can we bring any more? No, we can't. Okay, this is the best thing we can do at the moment. Worship me. Yeah, he's pre-ray. Ooh, yes! We actually do doing quite a, a, a decent amount of damage. So Yes! Oh, oh, oh that was tough. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're not that and this guy, if you're not over leveled, you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> this is my justice. Jokes aside, uh, you need to actually be at a certain level in order to actually make that battle easier. But oh well. Uh, it's definitely worthy of being called the badass freaking overlord. In Japanese is the universe uh, strongest overlord. So. It's not, it's not an idle boast. <laughs> You're pretty good too. You were able to last this long against me. Yeah, along with six pedals. Oh Lord Zeta. Can we put this fight on hold? Fool! What are you talking about? I won't let this match end a drop. Uh oh. Uh, shaking! Why? The temple is about to collapse because of the fight! Didn't expect this to happen, you hack of an oracle. Excuse me. Well, protect you, father. Here I go. This okay? Oh, so that's what misery is. What happened? Wait, I don't think the temple collapsing will actually do anything to them. They're overlords. They're freaking powerful. We back. We went back in time. This is the Nether world before that incident happened. Yeah. Then wouldn't that mean there would be two killers and Zeta going around? We performed a large scale time shift. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to do it. I'm relieved. Are you okay? Are you all okay? Yes, I'm fine, Father. Alright. Why did you interfere? What do I do if anything happened to you guys? But I was worried about you. Who do you think your father is? It's me, Zeta, the badass overlord. I can protect myself. Believe in your father. I I'm sorry. But that skill was splendid. You truly are my daughter. Due to your actions, I'll forgive you this time. Keep working hard. Father, thank you very much. It's a happy ending. I thought it would get a little more interesting. What, you want the temple to collapse on you? I hope the prophecy will be a ha I hope the next prophecy will be a happy one. Are you trying to employ something? Got a problem with my prophecies? Yes! <laughs> if that really is a prophecy, then I've got nothing to say about it. He knows. You seem like you know everything. Are you going to give me a lecture? I don't intend to. However, you, sh you shouldn't use the word prophecy so liberally. Excuse me! Kilia, I'm sorry for causing so much trouble for you. We were trying so hard to stop the fight. You should have stayed out of it. <laughs> now, Kilia, our fight isn't over yet. Since we started it, I won't be satisfied until we finish it. Fa father? You're not done yet? Weaklings. Of course not! <laughs> you want to finish the battle here? Here is fine, but you're exhausted. It wouldn't be any fun to defeat you in this condition. Kill you. Become my ally. 
then you can fight me whenever you want. However, however many times as you want. Shouldn't it be the other way around? You're a hopeless father. Kill ya, I beg you. But... This is okay. Plus, I think we can help you too, Kill ya. Is there anything bugging you? We're in badass overlords at us party. We guarantee that we can handle anything that comes up. By the way, you're not gonna get six padas. Oh, I wish we could, but we can't. Right, father? Allies are supposed to help each other. Yeah, that's right. Pleased to meet you. See? Even father is saying that. Kilia, let's become allies. You truly are our daughter of badass overlord. Great. Now that the prophecy is done with, there's no reason for me to turn you down. Kilia became allies with Zeta. Kilia, beca Kilia became allies with Pada. Come on, you too, Pram. Damn, I don't agree with this. But I have no choice. You better be grateful. Kilia became allies with Pram. Oh, one more Pada. I won't go easy. Kilia, fight me with all your might. What kind of prophecy did you make this time? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she doesn't learn. Let's she never learns. Okay, and that's it. We gained Kilia, uh, um, and we gained Zeta, Peta, and Pram. I'm gonna rearrange a bit. Uh, so, I'm sh uh, we've already, I've already explained uh, uh, the status of Pram, Zeta, and uh, Peta. So there isn't much to actually explain, but. Uh, Zeta is a very, very good uh, uh, attacking unit. The problem is he has very low speed, so he would have problems dodging. But other than that, he is a very, very good character. As you can see, his guns, uh, he's, the only thing that's low is his guns, uh, stabs, and armor. But uh, armor is pretty much C's for uh, a lot of characters, so uh, there isn't much to actually worry about. But Zeta is a, it would be your strongest attacking unit in the entire game. Purely because he has very good evil thieves and his stats are ridiculous. And then there's Pram. She is a very good uh, mage unit. Uh, though she's more of a star user. I might want to actually... Everybody... Uh, and then finally, there's uh, you know, uh, Peta. Yeah, I've already explained this. She's also a mage user, though she's not going to be as good good with magic as uh, uh, Pram. But she is good with the gun. You actually notice that she's more geared to towards using a gun, though she starts with uh, with a staff, the replica book of Zeta. But other than that, uh, she, you know. These are actually pretty good units. Uh, but uh, we will, I will actually showcase them uh, when we go to the mushroom. For now, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna actually do much in showcasing. And uh, we still got one more DLC episode to actually go through before we can actually start with the mushroom. So uh, I'm just gonna end this uh, this video here for now. One episode for per DLC episode, uh, scenario. The next one, we will actually get only one character. Uh, yeah, uh, people actually comp uh, actually complain about this one DLC. Uh, the next, the upcoming DLC episodes uh, is based on La Pasillo. Uh, it's a game that started uh, that uh, that this guy is kind of based on the, the gameplay mechanics. And uh, we only get one character, which is annoying because when you actually buy the DLC on the uh, original Disgaea Five, it's actually. Uh, too expensive just for one character and it's quite a pain in the ass to actually get however I believe that it's actually decent to uh, in leveling up in that map I cannot really remember but uh, we'll see either way uh, this is it for this video uh, if you liked it uh, press that like button 
And if you haven't subscribed, please uh, do subscribe. We'll actually help a lot. Uh, and leave a comment uh, down below. Uh, I would actually like to hear what you, uh, what you actually think of the uh, new units, uh, Zeta, Prem, and Peta. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!